Hi YouTube, it's Mika and I am back. I know it's been a while, but I have tons of videos to upload. So I plan on working on those this weekend. But I did want to show you all my new hair. This is my new hair. Actually, I won't even lie. It is a wig. It is my very, very first wig after say about five or six years of contemplating getting a wig. I finally decided, hey, why not just give it a shot? So I've been wanting to cut my hair in this style for some time. And I've always been apprehensive um, with, for two reasons. Number one, because I would have to cut a bang. And bangs take so much longer to grow back than just a regular little feather bob cut. Also, I was concerned with the thickness of my hair and whether or not I would be able to achieve a full... Um, a full look with just the texture of my hair so kind of juggled the idea around for a while but I decided with the winter coming um, winter is very rough on my hair my hair has been doing very well I need to do a hair update video which I will because it has been a year almost to date um, what's today 21st yes yeah, so it has been a year to date since I cut my hair into the short by not by by blah, 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 what am I saying the short boy haircut that I had but my hair was like an inch now it's grown my hair is actually longer than this so I have to do an update video for you guys but anyway a little bit about my experience so I went to the beauty supply warehouse here where I live and they had tons of wigs but unfortunately they did not have a lot of human hair wigs they had tons of synthetic lace fronts all the jazz whatever like that but they didn't have exactly what I wanted which was a short Tried it all cut, even something that I, you know, felt was close enough to my style and I could just kind of cut it and manipulate it into the exact look. Couldn't find anything. So, looked and looked and looked and finally I found this one. This is Petra and it is by HairSense, which is, uh, I don't know anything about wigs, so it's $24.99. This was the packaging that it came in and so it is a synthetic wig, 100% premium fibers. And I got it in the color 2. I'm like a blackish brown. It's not jet black, not brown, but I'm somewhere in the middle. So this was close to it. And uh, so this is what it looked like when I got it. Which was somewhat what I wanted, but not all the way. So I came home. Oh, also, I bought a little head. They told me, you need to have a head to put your wig on if you want it to last. So her name is Ida. Say hello to Ida everyone. So anyway, um, so I brought it home and it was, so when I got it, it probably was this much of a bang, not very much at all, and then the rest of this was hair. And it kept falling in my face, it's like this is not going to work. So I grabbed my scissors, mind you this is my first time, uh, I grabbed my scissors, my shears that I uh, use when I put my ends every three months. Handy dandy trusty scissors, you have to have these, they're very important. And uh, so I cut the ends to draw my bang line back some, and uh, I cut the bangs. The bangs were like probably to, probably to about here, and so I cut them shorter. And as, as you can see, they're not even. I kind of did like a choppy cut of the bangs because I didn't want them to be perfect. But um, I wanted them to still be similar. So they are still similar. And um, so I did that. And um, put her on. Put Petra on the head. Say hello to Ida again. And so um, went to bed. Next morning I was like so excited. Because um, I'm thinking I'm going to get up in the morning. I don't have to do anything to my hair. So I will say also that there was a concern. Because I have seen a lot of wigs that. I mean, literally, take your whole hairline out, like alopecia, here I come. And I was concerned about that. So I was thinking, well, how could I do this? What, what way could I use to put this wig on and still conserve my edges and not break my hair off? Because the point is to wrap my hair up, keep my hair um, out of the weather, the elements, keep it away from the heat and stuff for the whole winter so when summer comes, Hopefully my hair will have grown another two or three inches. Then I'll have the length that I'm looking for and I can do different styles and stuff and just work with it from there. So I came up with a plan. 
So what I did was, now, when you all see when I take this wig off, I don't want no jokes. I don't want no laughs, no nothing, because I'm trying to share with you what you can do that will allow you to keep your hair in a good, healthy state, will allow you to still nourish it, um, oil your scalp, do all the things you need to do to maintain the health of your hair, and still have a cap on, as my aunt would call it, and be cute every day. So what I did was I took... So I took, um, I wrapped my hair up, wrapped it up really good like you normally would, and then I um, put my oil treatments and stuff on there. I put my, um, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank here. Drawing a blank. I put my Moroccan oil. Put my Moroccan oil on. And then I also put my, I love this, my paratin. This is probably the reason why my hair's been going so I put those on. And then uh, I wrap my hair up like you normally would when you get ready to go to bed. Um, got up in the morning. I took that scarf off. Where is this scarf? I took that scarf off and then I had my hair just wrapped up in a, you know, a wrap. So then I took this scarf here which is a silk scarf. It's a 100% silk scarf. It's just an old scarf that I've had, but I've only put silk scarves on my head, so that's very important. So, anyway, tied this on. I made sure that it was covering everything down low on my forehead, because, of course, you'll pull it back, but down low on my forehead, tie it really tight, bring it around in the front, and you tie it again. Because you want to make sure that you don't have any bumps under your wig. And this is probably the best way to do that. Unless you have any other suggestions, please post, please post, please post on the bottom. So, you want to make sure you pull your ears out. Which sometimes is what can bring your other hair out. So, you want to be careful. Because you don't want to have any of your hair out touching that stocking cap. Because the stocking cap... I'm sure most of you know will take you down. So make sure that you have your edges covered with your silk scarf and you're good to go. Here's the back. I may need to pull that down so and I will make sure it's tight. Alright. Then I went in with my stocking cap because you want to make sure that the wig can adhere to something. Um, and it won't, it, it will just slip and slide on the silk scarf, I can guarantee. So you just put this over top. Now, of course, this won't work if you're wearing like a lace front or something like that. I'm sure this will not work, but for my style wig, I have a bang, so it's functional for, um, what I'm trying to do. You may need to alter it. For those that are wearing something that kind of reveals your, your front hairline, you may want to push this back some um, and if that's the case I would recommend that you put some type of coconut oil Moroccan oil make sure you maintain something on those edges so that you don't experience that damage and that breakage on the front and then I put the wig on and I made sure so they told me about the little clips and stuff on the side and how you need to make sure that they're straight so I said okay I can do that, Ooh. but I do need to get, my coworkers are telling me about these little clips, I need to get some clips to make sure I keep it in place because I like my bangs to follow a certain direction, certain way, and if I'm moving, that doesn't happen, so. So now, here's my look, so my hair is secured, it's quote unquote safe underneath the wig, and I still have um, a cute style, I can just get up and go every day. So I am going to work on this particular routine for the next couple months. I probably will buy another wig or two. If I do, I will definitely get on and show you all um, my new style. But in the meantime, I hope that this video has been helpful for you in helping you find a way to show, um, to be a little, a little more versatile in your looks over the winter because, again, you know, the winter's hard on a lot of our hair, along with water and just your weather. 
Um, and then also the winter materials that we wear. Uh, if they're not cashmere, typically they will pull your hair out. You wrap your scarf around your neck, you take it off, and you see, oh, I have two or three strands of hair in my scarf. Well, when you're wearing a wig, you don't have to worry about that. So, a lot of advantages to wearing wigs in the wintertime. This will probably be my new routine. But tell me what you think about the hair. Tell me what you think um, about the cut. Is it edgy? Do I look like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman? Or Like, tell me what, what you think. Positive feedback, please. As well as negative if you don't like it, but don't hurt my feet. So, thank you very much, and you all have a wonderful day. And I have several videos to load, so I will be doing that over the weekend. So, uh, stay tuned. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.